In their battle to save lives, rescuers look for any edge they can find. This story is not a recreation. It's a ride-along with members of the Acadian Air Med Service in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, whose fleet of helicopters fly day and night in order to give victims a better chance to beat the odds. Air Med 3, go ahead. So we're I-10 westbound, signal 29. Should be 18-wheeler versus uh, one vehicle. The helicopter is such a great tool in this type of geographical area. Oh, back over here. Can I get them? We cover about 14,000 square miles. Yeah, they were chasing each other, three-wheeler. Ah! A lot of that is swampy, bayou, rivers type terrain. May 30th, 1993, 3.48 p.m. Paramedic Kent Kramer responds to a report of an accident involving a speedboat. Unlike many helicopter services around the nation, we are dispatched simultaneously with the ground units. Intersection of 16 and 22 at the Pinal Bank Club should be right near the bridge. Signal 29 involving a boat. The patient is being taken to the intersection by another boat. Unfortunately, we can't read street signs or see the yellow mailbox from a thousand feet in the air. And what unit responded to that? A unit 62 from window. Simple with 62. When we initially got the call for the boating accident, the details were very sketchy. There were several injuries involved and that the patients were being transported by boat to the nearest boat landing. He got thrown, was knocked out, he's got rib pain and back pain. My biggest concerns in boating accidents are spinal injuries, neck injuries. Dempsey Pendarvis had been driving the speedboat. And all of a sudden, the boat just went left real hard. I seen Donner and Michelle flying out of the corner of my eye. That's gonna be a little and Michelle was swimming. I hollered at her and she said she was basically okay, but Donner Ray was underwater. And I just jumped out in the water and he was completely submerged. I mean, I reached down and grabbed him. If Donner Ray wouldn't have had a life jacket on, I couldn't have found him. The story that I got from the husband was that they were riding in a speedboat doing in excess of 70 miles an hour at which time the boat got somewhat out of control and ejected him and his wife both out of the boat. Where does the, where does the rib pain start? Somewhere else. Donna, all right? I'm pretty so. I'm in a little pain right now. But... Right rib pain immediately after the incident, but awakened oriented bodies within normal He began limits. stating that he had respiratory difficulty. And that's when the determination was made to fly him to Baton Rouge. Ma'am, I have a 42-year-old Caucasian male involved in a boating accident. The patient was ejected from the boat uh, at a high rate of speed. Plain of left humerus pain, which we have acquainted with a sling and swab right now, and also some right rib pain. Patient requesting your facility for evaluation. Do you have any further orders or questions? Six p.m. the next evening. In an ambulance service, do you have an emergency? Yes. What city? Ennis. And what's the problem there, ma'am? Okay, my three-year-old grandbaby has been burned by grease. Okay, where is that exactly is he burned? In the face and the chest. Okay. Whatever's burned, try to pour some cool water on him. Should be the third house on the right. And this is a very small town, and the street name rang a bell, so to speak, in my head. I've run several calls on that street. I'm going to be right down here, if I had to guess. Right here, you pass. I see the unit, I see the unit. Yeah, we got you. We weren't able to land right next to the house. So the ambulance then transported the patient down to the helicopter. The burn victim is three-year-old Jamie Barrett. A lot of times when people are burned, especially by something such as grease, just because you've wiped the grease off of you does not mean that it does not continue to burn. The biggest advantage was the fact that she was basically within maybe 10 or 12 minutes of a burn center by air versus about 45 minutes by ground. Airman 3, Veteran General. I have a three-year-old black female. She has a first and second degree burns uh, around her mouth. Uh, she has second degree and a small area of third degree. Children don't always express what's hurting them, but you can just see it in their faces and in their eyes. 
Now, I had already explained to her that her parents would be on the way to the hospital to meet us and that they would be there shortly after our arrival. It gets to you because you feel a lot of times helpless. You want to do so much for the child, you know, to alleviate the pain that they're going through, and you can't. Among the doctors treating Jamie's at Baton Rouge General Hospital is Surgeon Andrew Hargrove. Jamie has approximately a 10% total body surface area burn. Because it was from hot grease, these burns are usually a little bit deeper than, say, a scald burn from water. So it's very difficult right now to tell whether she's going to need any further care as far as surgical intervention. Jamie's parents, Angela and James, are brought up to date on her condition. And I just wanted to tell you a few things before you come back in there. Right now it looks like it's second degree, which means that it's going to heal. With a grease burn is over two to three days, it can get deeper, so we want to keep a real close eye on it to make sure she doesn't need any surgery. Uh, I wish it would have been me instead of her. I just want my baby to be all right. Who's this? That's Daddy. That's Daddy. <laughs> yeah. That's who I've been waiting for, huh? She's kind of sleepy. We did give her some pain medicine before we took care of her burns. Thank you. She was very lucky. I was about that age, too, when I also got burned bad like that. I stayed in the hospital like six months. And I know what she got to. Like, I was five years old, but I remember it, you know. I remember it like yesterday. I was trying to cook. I had pulled my grease in a bowl, and she pulled the bowl over. Having a little child, I just realized that I have to pay more attention to what I'm doing, putting things out of her reach. These things happen so easily, so quick, and you can't stop it. Michelle and Don Featherston were released from the hospital later on the day of their boating accident. Michelle escaped with only a small broken bone in her leg. Don also had relatively minor injuries. I have two broken ribs on my right side, and I'm just completely sore all over. But uh, other than that, we're very fortunate. That's the only injuries that we sustain. I just recently started back going out on the water, just last year. It's been 11 years, and my parent got killed out on the waters. And I just recently started going back out. We were definitely, so to speak, speeding, but there's no speed limits on the water. It's not a, a doubt in my mind that the life jacket gave perhaps that split second, even though it was partially tore off of me, uh, it gave Dempsey the opportunity to get to me to, uh, to get my head out of the water. <laughs> The day after Jamie's was burned, Dr. Hargroder looks in on her. Y'all doing okay? There's always a possibility of infection almost until the burn wounds heal. Usually after about seven to ten days, if you've gotten away from infection by that point, the risk of infection is less. Sometimes it takes up to three weeks for a deeper second degree burn to heal, so we just have to... I'm just trying to be there for her, you know. As long as I'm there, she can be all right. Three months later, Jamie's Barrett has completely recovered from the burns. I would say thank you to all the staff at Baton Rouge General for their kindness and everything that they did. I would like to thank Al Med, Al Med getting her that quick the way they did. That helped her a lot. When I have a child, I say, I know she's going to break my day. When I'm down, she's going to make me smile. And it's been just like that. When I'm down, I mean, I be down sometimes. And she come and say something to me, and I just laugh and forget all about my own problems, you know. I love her. All right. And I just hope I can do for her like I want to.